Hi guys, so here in front of me I have Graptocetum vera higgins. Uh, if you watch my past videos at the end of the summer, I got a big part of this plant uh, from Home Depot from Clarence and it grew a lot. Uh, in, here in Michigan, part of our uh, summer was sunny and part of the summer was very rainy, humid and cloudy. So a lot of my plants didn't really like it and they started uh, stretching, which means that the space between leaves has been getting bigger and they lost some of those nice uh, colors they have and a shiny look. So, but it, they didn't look too bad. I have a picture that I will show you of Graptocetum before it was taken inside. And then middle of October, when I uh, put this plant inside under the fluorescent lights, it completely stretched, it lost all the color, and it didn't do very well, lost a lot of leaves. And so when I got LED lights that are behind me that I made a few videos about, they Graptopetalums and Graptocetums did really good under those lights. They got the color back, they, they kept growing, so they were doing really good. So I'm going to show you the picture of my Graptocetum vera higgins be at the end of the summer, then when I got it inside, and then we're going to be back to this plant that looks a mess now and needs some fixing. Alright guys, so let's take a look close up how my Graptocetum vera higgins is doing. As you can see, uh, the tops, the like inch or, in, or inch and a half has been growing really compact and the colors are very nice. There are some uh, leaves that were hanging down and they didn't get as much LED light, so there is uh, some stretching here, but some of it is from before. But when you look from a little bit more distance, um, you can see that there is a lot of uh, bran long branches with uh, air roots, the empty uh, area in the middle of the pot, and just a lot of plant is on the sides of the pot. Um, there is some babies that really need attention, the leaves that propagated itself, like this one here that's actually getting quite big, and a uh, leaf is completely dried up, which means it needs more care and water. And then there is a three little ones that also lost the leaf and they're really gonna get dry. So what I'm thinking today is just to fix this so it looks aesthetically better by propagating the tops that are compacted and by taking out some of these babies and giving them a little more water. And then also leaving the rest of the plant to see if it's going to grow more. So let's start. So what I'm going to do is cut um, a little bit below uh, the area where the growth is really compacted. Um, let me see what this is. This white thing is this. Oh, it just looks like a powder. Um, so it's not a mealy bug. It looked like something white. So I just wanted to make sure. So I'm going to cut it below, uh, a little bit below, so that stem has some space that it's going to go in the soil and root. Um, so maybe like this. And then I'm going to clean up some of those bottom leaves. So it's going to look kind of like this. So there is a compacted top and a little bit of spacing here below on the sand so that it can root. And I'll just keep doing that with the other branches. They're really like packed here on this side. As you can see, looking so pretty. Some of these leaves I can also leave to propagate. Although I'm uh, most of the time very impatient to wait for the leaves to propagate. But uh, I will probably leave some of them. So again, I'm removing some of the bottom leaves, here is close up, like this, uh, gently wiggling back and forth so you don't damage the leaf if you want to use it. And this is how the stem is going to be left, that I'm going to let dry a little bit and then dip it in a rooting hormone and put it in soil. It's always a plus if you can attempt not to touch the leaves too much so you don't remove that 
film from the top of the leaves and uh, keep them pretty. Here's another beautiful one. Beautiful rosette. I'm sure that all these branches that are left will also um, grow. So I wish I can just have a big greenhouse so I can propagate a lot of plants, but due to limited space, a lot of times I have to get rid of some of those, you know, mature plants when there is only branches left. Now kind of looking sad all cut up but I just wanted to show you some babies that are growing oh, look at look at this guys here this is a leaf that has like three heads that's growing on a stem because it was a partially detached leaf and then I showed you before there is this one they're so firmly uh, like firm in soil you can't pull them out they have roots so I'm just gonna water this spot a little bit more and there is some little ones in there there is another leaf propagating itself so instead of one pot, now I have three pots of Graptocetum Vera Higgins. What am I going to do with all the Vera Higgins? I don't know. I uh, might have some giveaways uh, when it gets warmer. But I will give you update how they do when they root and how fast they grow. It is end of January, not the best time for propagation, but I'm hoping um, since they have the right conditions that they will root soon. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.